There's a trend been going around that I really, really wanted to try, and today we are actually gonna do it. This video is sponsored by Wish.com, and I'm gonna go on there, and I'm gonna spend a couple hundred dollars, and I'm gonna buy a bunch of things that I need to fill around the shop, and maybe some miscellaneous car parts that I could use on these cars off of the website. You can literally buy almost anything off of Wish, and everything is a low affordable price coming straight from the manufacturer. That being said, some things I'm gonna be looking out for are some tools for tool bags for the track. We just got the enclosed trailer, as you guys saw and I have no tools for it. I have tools here inside the shop but nothing that can permanently stay in the shop so we're gonna be looking for that today. We're all out of push pins, we need drill bits, we need a million things in the shop that I'm gonna go ahead and try to get everything off of wish.com. I've actually had the app installed on my phone but I'm gonna be doing everything from the computer. Now I've already been browsing the site for quite a while just because I like to go on there and just like scroll through there when I'm bored just to shop on it because it is fun. And like I said if you haven't been on it there's like literally everything out there. I'm gonna go ahead and start screen recording what I'm seeing and we're gonna go shopping together. The first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna start looking for some tools. I searched tools in the top bar and here we go. So one thing that I saw earlier was this. This is a 600 piece tool set. Has great reviews. I 100% want to get this. So we have Allen wrenches, a bunch of screwdrivers, wrenches, it even looks like these wrenches have like angle ability on them. A carrying case. Oh, here we go. Socket inserts, all universal joints, T-handles, spark plug sockets, all that for a hundred bucks. That is the exact thing that I would want inside the trailer. Just a good set of everything. Adding that to the cart. I know in the shop we've literally blown through all of our Christmas tree bits. Two bucks. Great reviews. Throw that in the cart. Oh, we have to select sizes. Let's do a four to 20. Three bucks, I'll do it. This is actually perfect. We lose Lose all of these all the time in the shop. Let's do the eight piece one. Uh, this is for like impact sockets to do half inch, quarter inch, um, all that type of stuff, and all different sizes and lengths. Throwing that in the cart. Oh, Christmas tree bits? I already got oh. Christmas tree bits, bro. I already got that. Ooh, I need these for welding. These magnet clamps. Oh, we don't have a table. No a table. Some flappies. Some flaps. What size? Uh, we'll do 80 grit. 80 grit, 10 piece. Add that to the 16 cart. 16 bucks? Dude. Solid. Oh, that's really cheap. That's there you go. Cool. 20 bucks. Add that to the cart, baby. Damn! Oh, a turbo? <laughs> $7? Did you do the double fan yeah, or double. the single fan? Double. Double. All right, color, just make it nice and black. Yeah, Dude. that's a good video right there. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. <laughs> fuse kit, that's a good idea. Oh. oh my gosh, there are so many fuses. This is awesome. 100 piece fuse set, good rating, seven bucks. Add that to the cart. I'm trying to take a look around here of like things that we randomly always need. Oh, this is great. Interior pry kit, always could use that. I think we're still using the same one from like five years ago. We're missing like half of it. Oh my God. Tire punctured triangle nail spike anti-theft security car. Yes, that is what I need. Oh my gosh, that is so awesome. We're buying that, we're buying that. No one can steal any car ever, just throw some tire puncture triangles underneath the tire. Okay, that being said, let's see how much damage we've done. We're $286 in the hole. We have a handful of things here, all with great ratings, low prices, super solid. Super satisfied. We're gonna buy this right now. I'm gonna pick up this video up and all the parts get here and we're gonna put them to the test. I'm gonna start with the small stuff and work my way up to the bigger stuff. Now the coolest thing that I got, and I actually did this off camera and I wish I did this on camera. I've only seen these in movies. I've never actually seen these in real life. They're like, they're meant to pop tires. I, I definitely don't need them and don't think I'll ever use them and definitely don't want to test them out here. I might do a prank one day with Calvin or something. Off camera yesterday, I just kind of stepped on it. I didn't think it was going to be that sharp because it doesn't like feel that sharp, but I guess technically it, it, it's pretty sharp. It went through my vans and poked a hole in the bottom of my foot. That's how sharp these are. So I guess in theory, all you do, I guess if you don't want your car to get stolen at night or if you're trying to stop a thief, just throw these out in front of the tires they don't really bounce, they kind of just like fall flat and they stick to where they are. Pretty cool, it's a little gag gift, I really like it. All right, here we have a Christmas tree bit, plenty of sizes. The real test will be to see how long this lasts over a long period of time. We obviously can't check its wear and tear in a matter of a video, but 
From what I can tell, it looks pretty good. I mean, it's, it's a Christmas tree bit, not too much to expect, but pretty awesome how cheap you can pick this stuff up for. Something everybody should have a spare amount of in their shop, fuses. I go through fuses a lot on a lot of my cars. I'm always blowing shit, especially on the stuff that we wired ourselves. <laughs> Something that I do carry in the RX-7 is, is spare, like 20 and 10 fuses. And this is a little neat little carrying case too, so I imagine this, this would be something good to keep in your car, honestly. You could order a large one for the shop, but, oh, and they're actually in there. Oh, sh oops, okay. Man, it was in there all nice and neat, and now I just dropped them everywhere. One, two, 7.5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. A bunch of little spare fuses. It's always a good thing just to keep, like I said. Putting this in your project car or keeping this in a small tool bag, always a good idea. This is, again, something just to keep extra wherever you go. It's not like you can have a, a bad pick set we have like a 45 degree 90 degree obtuse what 170 I don't even know and then a straight pick I actually just use this for the Mustang video that you guys saw a couple days ago I was using this to help get out some of the airbag clips very useful, very awesome. There's even a little like grip piece too, halfway down the shaft if you wanted to like, I don't know, use it in a different direction. This is crucial. If you are ever tearing apart your car and you don't have these, definitely pick something like this up. Whole bunch of clips, push pins. From now on, I'm gonna be ordering all my floppy disks off of Wish because the amount of floppy disks that we got for the price that we got, probably gonna have a century. I'm gonna go ahead and throw these actually in the toolbox because we're all out and I keep having to come steal some from Throttle, but good grit too. I've never seen such an assortment before. Every type of interior panel remover. Calvin actually has a big set like this at his house that we always used to use, but it was his dad's, and his dad started noticing that we started taking some and was getting pissed. So we don't really have that many in the shop. Every car always has unique situations and requires unique tools, and this pretty much has every single option covered. I think I ordered this extra, but our kit here came with one. But even plastic clip removers are included with this, big and small, and a very intricate one too. I think this was like 90 bucks, something like that. My idea with this was to throw this in the enclosed trailer. So when we go to the track, you have a bunch of spare tools here. Now some of them kind of fell out. But what's nice is that if you were to drop or break anything, thank you, Ed. if you were to drop or break any of this, you could just order the whole new set. Again, if you're an idiot and you break them, for a pretty good price. But I am kind of curious to see the feel of all this stuff. Has a good weight to it. We have everything from an eight to a 17 set and they're little minis too, which is nice. You can't go wrong with a, with a set or engine. Second set, this is what I'm pretty hyped on. Having everything laid out when we're at the track, being able to see every single tool that we have and you can grab it super, super quick is very, very beneficial. Curious to see like the click ratio though, how small every tick is. Not too shabby. Wow, it starts at a four. That's really, really small. Has a good weight to it as well. It's like a quick and dirty. Yeah, my idea for this is something that's like very easy to lay out and I carry with us on and off the trailer. For me personally, I don't want a set of snap-on tools like being thrown around on the track and misplacing them and stuff like this. For me, this is a perfect set to carry around. Just keep going. Dude, <laughs> I can replace all the screwdrivers that you guys took on that side of the shop. Screwdrivers. Allen keys, another layer. It keeps going. Everybody needs a hot glue gun at the track. <laughs> you could plug it in, glue your stuff, and you blow your motor, you crack your head, just throw a little hot glue on it. Oh, scissors, the ones you stole from me. Those look like nice little kitchen scissors. Cut some chicken with that. Stealing tools right now. Don't Walking look. away with tools, doesn't matter. We can now replace it. A little handy set, Ev. It's like track poker chips. over. I'm going home, see ya, wouldn't want to be ya. There's a lot of stuff for under 300 bucks. Considering you have like a full tool set for under 100 bucks and then all this accessory stuff. I'm excited to throw this stuff from the trailer. I'm like most hyped about these bad boys. I want to use them somewhere. Let me show you what I meant when I said like they kind of fall really flat as if like if you were really, if you were gonna throw it in front of the car. Imagine the Mustang went rogue. We're headed for the sidewalk going for a big crowd. You wanted to stop the Mustang? Oh, baby! I, I really want to test it. You should. <laughs> but I have tires that we haven't even like drifted yet, technically. It would pop. Here, step on it with your I'm shoe. Not gonna step, I saw you step on it. I'm not going to step on it with my Jordans, but if I had my Vans on, I would do it again. It hurt. Ah! Just kidding. <laughs> Yeah, it hurt pretty bad when I did it. If any of you guys are looking for some stuff and you're on a budget, definitely check out Wish. I'll have it linked down below. You could literally spend hours on that website. That's all I got for today's video, guys. I will see you in the next one. Peace out and keep moving.
forward.